RTI as a program is set around interdisciplinarity. We are taking students from a diverse background. We want to bring them and graduate them as diverse specialists with perspectives. I previously did a master's in electronic engineering here at the University of Bath and I was looking specifically at bioelectronics but I was interested in applying AI to my research. Since I wanted to do that kind of interdisciplinary work I thought RTI would be a perfect fit for that. So my role within the CDT uh, management team is to handle partnerships and international relations. Uh, we have a large number of uh, partners from industry, government and academia, uh, both in the UK and uh, around the world. The CDT is comprised of academics and students from three different disciplines, uh, engineering, computer science and social science. Uh, and I come from the engineering perspective, so I'm interested in applying uh, machine learning and AI techniques to engineering applications. Um, so of course a student coming in as an engineer uh, would, would have that as their primary focus uh, but then of course they would need to use the cutting edge techniques from computer science uh, and they'd have to think about the implications and uh, uh, legal aspects and social aspects uh, from the social sciences. My research is looking at how we can deploy naval assets or just any sort of um, ocean sensing equipment and optimising it to find targets underwater. So we invest in, uh, we, we talk about our top 15 technologies that are going to disrupt our, our market and, and take our business forward uh, and AI comes out within our top five so it's one of the most important technologies that uh, that we see in our future. We really appreciate the idea that students will come out of the doctoral centre equipped for the needs of industry and have heard what uh, industry's kind of perspective is because of the multidisciplinary nature of the centre we really see um, value in kind of creating rounded candidates. Often enough with AI systems, they evolve over time. How can you explain why a system tells you a certain answer? What, how can you explain how it derived that answer, which may or may not be intuitive, but equally, if it doesn't give you the exact answer you expected, how do you know that it was the correct answer? And how can you trace it back possibly all the way to its inception of the algorithm over time? I'm really enjoying uh, some of the student-led events we're running. Uh, we're doing a hackathon, a 24-hour event, and I've been organising that with another student. So the best thing about being part of CDT is the interdisciplinary nature of it. So we've got computer scientists, engineers and social scientists actually all working together. So the thing that I've really enjoyed is the collaborative tasks that we've done. So it's just been a very supportive environment and that's been really great. <laughs>